I'll show you the Quran is messed up. Look what the Quran says. You're asking for a verse, Abbas, right? No. In chapter 2, verse 106, Allah admit, Aka Muhammad, that his Quran is a shish kebab. How we knew that? Look at this. None know our revelation do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Cause what? What is the guy who says, Subhanallah? I will put you like a music in the background. Cause to be forgotten? Allah will cause the Quran to be forgotten? Muhammad is sitting in front of Allah. Allah, he said to Muhammad, look at me, count to three. One, two, Muhammad, he says, sorry, I do not know how to count, I'm illiterate. Okay, forget about counting. Imagine there's a three goat. One goat is gone. Two goat is gone. Muhammad, he interrupted Allah, say, sorry, first of all, we don't have goats here because after the goat ate my Quran, I killed them all. Okay, forget about the three goats. Imagine there's a three camels. One camel is gone. Two, look at me, look at me. <clears throat> look, look, look at me. Why you are looking at my iPad where I wrote the Quran? Do you know? Have you ever heard of a God, he write his Quran in his iPad and he put it between the two eyes of an angel. His name is Israfil. Anyone knows why he put the, 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 uh, the Quran between the eyes of Israfil? Who knows? Anyone knows? Who knows? Hmm. Very simple, because if you try to look at it, you cannot. I mean, the eyes is uh, is fixed in his head, you know, he cannot see. <laughs> this is a fake one, guys. <clears throat> There's many people here, they use false names, you know. If you click at this name, you will see it's not his channel. Those are false people. And actually, uh, the admin, they should block anyone who used the name. Like somebody, you know, if uh, guys, anyone used the name of somebody, block him. Unless it's the same person. Uh, so, none of our revelation do abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Why Allah want to cause you to forget the Quran? You tell me. What, he found that there is a problem? Actually, the verse mentioned clearly there's a problem. This is not talking about Quran. Uh, guys, this is not about the Quran. I mean, this Abbas actually, I mean, by the way, Abbas, according to scientific study, he is the most intelligent person between the Muslims in the country. It's called Pakistan. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy, Abbas, CP. This is not talking about the Quran, you fool. It is talking about scriptures of the past, abrogated over time. Today was abrogated by Injil and Injil by Quran. You stupid. So why you are saying that we have Injil? <laughs> why Allah? He says we agreed with the Injil, which is between your hand. If the Quran, if the Injil goes to be forgotten. <laughs> Secondly, you donkey. I take it back. I cannot say donkey. It's against YouTube regulation. Uh, YouTube will will punish me for this. I will call you mule. Are, are we okay? I think mule. I don't see mule in the list of uh, 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 YouTube. If we go right now to read the interpretation, you donkey. Oh, sorry, you mule. You are getting bigger. I mean, you are getting higher in rank. What your interpretation says? Does it say this is a previous verses of the previous uh, books? Or this is about your prophet, he's a joker. He changed his mind every morning. <laughs> read with me, mule, Abbas. And by the way, I will take the name from you back because I cannot give the same name for all. I mean, a lot of you. you so you like four or five minutes, I will give it to you later. I will give it to Kush. When the disbeliever began to, de uh, to deride, 
the matter of abrogation saying that one day Muhammad he enjoyed his companion one thing and the second day he forbid it <laughs> I mean, how fast the abrogation, brother, how fast? You know what? I never heard of a fast abrogation like this. This is talking about the verse of Allah and the Torah and Jinjil at Abbas. Ab Abbas, okay. It's a challenge between me and Mr. Abbas. <clears throat> Abbas, can you show me one interpretation I agree with you? Is that fair, guys? Is that is that fair? I just showed you Ajralain. I can show you Ibn Abbas. I can show you Ibn Kathir. I can show you At-Tabari. Whatever you want me to put in the screen, I will put in the screen. And the one who cannot provide evidence, I did, is a liar and he's a fool. Do we agree, people? Do we agree? If Abbas fail to show us that this is what the Quran meant, that's mean he is fabricating answers and he is just a desperate Muslim. His wife forced him to wash dishes every day. And this is why he escaped from her coming to my chat room. <clears throat> what do you think, Abbas? Can you provide me evidence, Abbas, of what you said? Or you are a liar, you have to admit. Either you provide us, you say to me right now, open the interpretation of etc we will put it in the screen we will read it and then you are the man if there's nobody al yes tad tadbur al quran by amin ahsan salih there's no such a thing here we go i mean he is not a scholar to be listed even in your islamic website here we go this is your islamic you are quoting for me something stupid why you don't quote ibn, ibn kathir where we can find this guy? I mean, where? Who is this guy? I never heard of him. Here we go. Those are all the list you can imagine. Where we can find him? Can you tell me? He's not a scholar. What? This guy from YouTube? Pakistani guy? <laughs> Let us get you busted. So this is this is a Jalali. Shall we go to different? What about we go to Ibn Kathir? Shall we go to Ibn Kathir, guys? Why why you don't want a Jalali and Ibn Kathir and uh, Ibn Abbas? Why you don't want them? It's embarrassment, isn't it? So you name for me as uh, somebody you, you created a name from your from your uh, from your pocket. <laughs> Uh, you see, all of them, all the Muslims, they agree that this is about the Quran, and you are a certified idiot. All of them. Even if we go to Ibn Kathir, the funny liar Ibn Kathir. By the way, Ibn Kathir, he was like a, uh, he was like a, the YouTuber of, in his time. He trying to refute the Christians, which means when Ibn Kathir, he made his books, he was not really explaining the Quran. He was trying to refute the Christians. Take that into consideration. Which means he lie a lot in his answers, which is very normal. But this is Ibn Kathir, you know. <clears throat> okay, let us see. Where is the thing, Ibn Kathir? Where is 106? 104, oh, here we go, 106. <clears throat> this is Ibn Kathir. It's about the Quran, and you lie to us. You are a liar, like your father. Such as erasing, following, wording from the Quran. Erasing, following wordings of the Quran. Mm -hmm. La la la. 
La, 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 la. <clears throat> anyway, and then things get more messed up when Allah he says, we will make something similar or better. And here you see how Muhammad is messed up as a false prophet. He cannot remember the same verse, so he claimed that Allah will give him something better or similar. And here you see how stupid it is, the statement, because if Allah will make you something similar, so why he calls you to forget the one which is similar? You know what I mean? I mean, this is the most stupid thing. The Muslim, they say, Allah, he can preserve the Quran, but the, the Quran says, no, I will cause you to forget it. And the funny Muhammad, he said that shaitan, who is the one? He is the one who caused people to forget Quran. And Muhammad himself, he forget Quran. <clears throat> Let us see if we can. Here we go. The messenger of Allah said something al miswar said i prayed among with the messenger of allah and witnessed that he recited the quran during the prayer and omitted something <laughs> guys do you see it he omitted what what is Kush? Kush was saying that the Christians, they omitted the Bible. Why? Because a translation is not the same as other translation. This is your prophet in his lifetime. Don't tell me this happened after he die. That would be funny. In his lifetime, he cannot remember his Quran. He omitted. Read the full thing. I'm reading the full thing. I have the full thing in the front of your screen. What's wrong with you? Guys, read the whole thing. A man said to him, Messenger of Allah, you omitted such and such a verse. Messenger of Allah said, Why did not remind me of it? <laughs> so, so you are saying to me, read the rest? Supposedly the rest is better? I mean, are you sure? Christian Prince, why you don't read the rest? The rest would beat you busted. Muhammad, he agreed. He said, why you did not remind me of it? <laughs> Christian Prince, read the rest. Why you are hiding? Why you put your hand there? Why you put hand in the top of it? Huh? Why you are trying to hide the rest? Read the rest, Christian Prince. I wonder how, I wonder why. Muhammad, he forgot a lot of goodbye when he was reading his book. He turned his head up and right. Turn it, turn it, turn it up and turn and know what I can see. Another bunch of donkeys around me. The prophet he omitted Quran. And then the guy he said, You know what? I thought when the prophet here did read it, I thought this is omitted, uh, uh, was like uh, abrogated, but no, it's not. I thought that it was the verse was re repealed. He thought, because Muhammad, he took it off. This is Islam. <clears throat> anyway, uh, we have enough for today. Guys, did you have a good time? I want to say thank you for those who support us in Patreon. We appreciate your support. I appreciate the support of Abbas. May Allah bless him and get him four wives. If he get four jobs, he can get four wives. And that is the blessing of Allah. And then Abbas, he will go to heaven one day. I mean, guys, when we say Islam is unique, before we go, Islam is unique. Let us summarize Islam. Islam is unique. Because in Islam, you will have a unique penis, which according to Muhammad, it's endless. And if you think about it, nobody in the world ever promised such a promise, endless penis. And if you think about the benefit of endless penis, first you can sign contract with a star, with a star war you know, program. They can use your penis as a cable for the internet, or even for a tube for traveling, or even to transform water 
from the Earth to other galaxy. As, a, as an example, they have a problem to send water to you. So you drink water here. Abbas, he drink water in the Earth. Abbas, he pee in the moon. I mean, come on, you know? Very simple, very simple, you know? Endless penis. I mean, there's endless opportunity with this endless penis. Islam is unique. Your wife, she would have one mile ass, and I wonder why the penis is endless, but the ass is one mile. I mean, pfft, come on. I mean, where is this penis will go? Okay, forget about this topic. Islam is unique because there's many things about it is unique too. Women in heaven, they will be, you will see through their bones. I like, you know, I mean, I think if I was a dog, I would love that idea. But I'm not sure about this. I mean, I'm not really convinced, but it's unique, to be honest with you. Muhammad, he said, not me, not me. He said, everyone will have two wives from the Huris who will be so beautiful, pure, and transparent. Transparent? Yes, brother. They are transparent. The marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. So good. So beautiful. Me, myself, actually, I'm, 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 I don't know. I want to leave this earth. I want to get the bones. I cannot. I'm telling you. Islam is unique. And you like it, you don't like it. <clears throat> it is a relative. Like uh, when Fifi, he said to uh, Apostate Prophet, Hello, this is the reality. The Prophet, he refuted you. Brothers and sisters, imagine. Your wife, I'm just showing you the benefit of having see-through in the heaven of Allah. First of all, you can see what is inside the pocket of your wife, which is very important. Maybe your credit card is there. Secondly, we can see what she has in her back. Your wife, she will never be able to smuggle anything without your permission. And now you can even see the panty she is wearing. And not to mention that is this is very sexy and you know it. So beautiful. So unique. I mean, who is a prophet in the world who gave such a promise like Muhammad? Imagine your wife in the heaven of Allah. She is doing some kind of show for you. Oh boy. Okay, I'm single. I cannot take this no more. The day is long. This is not good for me. I don't know about you. I hope your wives are not watching. If you are a man and your wife next to you, please let her go to the room, like ask her to go do something, because she might get jealous from this. She cannot do that, can she? Only the women created by Allah. We will enjoy this beauty. Look at this. I mean, that's too much. So Islam is unique in every stupid aspect you can imagine. The heaven is a stupid gold and silver. I mean, in heaven, gold and silver. Yes, gold and silver. What we would do with the gold and silver? Anyone knows? What the Muslims will do with the gold and silver? When you think that heaven, you say, okay, well, everything is for free. <clears throat> no. In the heaven of Allah, uh, there is a market, a bazaar. <clears throat> and this bazaar have in it pictures of men and women. <coughs> My throat is hurting. Mm.
And those pictures of when men and women, it's like a catalog, catalog, catalog. Unbelievable! I didn't even know how to read English and to read Arabic. If you like an image, you go inside it. You go where? You go inside it. And you have sex with it. And this is what the money is needed for. It's not for free. Let us show the reference. Oh, this is Daif. Oh. But this is not Daif. <laughs> this is Daif, brother. <laughs> By the way, those are the Adam and you because we made them, we exposed them. This is Daif, brother. This is Daif. Hmm. But Daif, by the way, it pass. Daif, it pass. You can watch the the video of uh, Sheikh, what his name? Hamza. You know, he said, those who come hide behind Daif argument, uh, Daif hadith, they have a Daif argument too. <laughs> because Daif, it pass. The Messenger of Allah said, In paradise there is market which nothing is bought and sold except, which means this is the buying and selling business. Images of men and women. And if a man like the image, he will enter it. The image is what? Is men and women. And if you like an image, you go inside it and you have sex with it. I mean, can you go crazy more than this? They are sex maniac. That's why you see somebody want to suicide himself or go and kill because he want to go to heaven and do this. I mean, why want to live here? I want to die, go there, get all those versions. They have no panties. And I spend my day going to the mall, looking at pictures and the one I like, men or women, men and women. Imagine, who is the customer, the man? If a man like an image, but image of what? Men and women. So homosexuality in heaven of Allah is going to be very, you know, uh, encouraged, as you see, because the image is image of men and women. And the customer is what? Is a man. If a man like an image, he will enter it. You see it? Anyway, we are done for today. I want to say is thank you again for being here. Uh, every day I say I'm going to take a break. I'm take take a break. I'm going to take a break, and the break never happened. You guys, you, you get me tempted. I hate you. I hate you. I want to be a Muslim for one day and pray for you from my heart. You can imagine how Muslims they pray for me every day, from around the world. All of them, they are singing for me. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you <laughs> very truthful. Sheikh Hamza is better scholar than Imam Mudim and Imam Bukhari. Were you stupid? I showed you Al Bukhari. You said you didn't agree with it yesterday. You forgot? Abbas, I showed you Al Bukhari yesterday. You said it's false. And we laugh at you. The video is still there. I mean, it's unbelievable how stupid you are. I mean, you are the kind who fart when he is talking and he say who farted? Like, who, who farted? It's you, Abbas. So now if we show you Al-Bukhari, do you accept Al-Bukhari? Yesterday we showed you Al-Bukhari. Should I show you the same hadith and you will say to me it's fabricated again? I mean, what else should I do with you? I don't know. I don't know. If somebody know like a nursing home or something, this guy is, I don't know, he's a, he's a, he's a certified fool. Yesterday, the video is there. Go watch it. We showed him the hadith. He said this is fabricated. It's Ibn, it's it's, it's uh, al-Bukhari. And the hadith we are showing you about Sabat Ahruf. Is that accepted by you? You said no. Huh? 
It's not accepted by you. Is it accepted by you? Well, Al Bukhari, you idiot, Al Bukhari. Yes, Al Bukhari. When 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 the scholars, this is not a Hamza. This is Islamic teaching. This guy, he learned from you. Those who they are born Muslims, he went to Saudi Arabia and they taught him that Daif is a rank. Daif does not mean rejected. Hadith is Daif. It's a rank. It's a rank between the ranks. And he explained very well. What Sheikh Hamza he said? <clears throat> Each time. So the first Yasin, because Yasin, Yasin, you get his father. I mean, Let's see. Is, is anywhere from a, will... from an A then? This is a long video, so I will move it a little bit until we find where he... For Fadail al amal Let us see. Those action, and it didn't relate to a hukum. Aqeedah, the opinion of the Ash'ari and the Maturidi, is the hadith has to be mutawatir. That you can't, that's why a hadith like the Nur and Muhammadi, which is an Ahad hadith, uh, is not used in Aqeedah. Or the hadith that Tu'arad uh, alayya amalukum or A'mal Ummati in Al-Bazaar, which is a Sahih Hadith. So, the ulama don't reject weak Hadith. They don't. And the, so this argument against the weak Hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. <laughs> and that is why Imam al Ozai, who's one of the... <laughs> the argument is a, against a weak Hadith is a weak argument. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> the argument against a weak hadith is a weak argument. But I mean, look what the Muslims are saying to us. Our religion is preserved, but our religion is based on the Quran and the hadith. Okay, as long as you are saying the Quran is not alone is Islam, and Quran and hadith are Islam, and now you are saying to me there's a lot of trash and garbage in the hadith, so Islam is not preserved. Please read Muqaddama of Imam Muslim. He reject weak hadith and reject many narrate. You see, you see, I mean, Abbas, Abbas. I mean, you are a stupid. Okay, okay. Listen, listen, uh, Abbas. Guys, let us show you the hypocrisy of this guy. I want you to say in the front of everybody. Do you accept as long Sahih Muslim? He reject. Any hadith is weak. Do you accept any hadith from Sahih Muslim? Because this is the guy who you trust now. Is that guy's fair? That's mean this guy he will never accept something is not true. Do you accept? I'm waiting for you. Are you there? Say yes. Be a man and say yes. You just said that this man he will never allow a, a, a hadith is not authentic, not authentic in his book. Everybody saw it. Say I accept Ibn uh, 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 Sahih Muslim. Say it. Say it. Ah, my certain is the. Uh, the Quran. <laughs> so there's nothing is called authentic in Islam. Then this is how stupid you are. A second ago you said there's a weak and there's a strong, and now you are saying to me all of them they are weak. This statement mean only Quran is considered for you, and that's mean all Hadith is a garbage. Thank you very much for your stupidity. And, the, and, and shaitan now in Sahih Muslim is farting at you. Sahih Muslim, he said that the Prophet said that when shaitan he heard the Adhan, he start farting. Abbas, are you farting now? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.
<laughs> Only Quran is certain. The rest is not. So that, that's what we are saying. So Muslim, you lie to us when you say it is authentic and not authentic because anything is embarrassment. In a second, you flip and you say, oh, we don't accept the, uh, the hadith no more. So Ibn Abbas now is a cowardly. He don't dare to say, I don't accept the hadith, but he just said dead because only Quran is for sure. The rest is potato. No, I'm not missing the point. You are missing your tail now. We cut it off. <clears throat> we are not missing the point. We got your tail. And you know, I, I have to say too, that Prophet Muhammad, he have a special education and knowledge in the unseen world. Yes, he does. There's things nobody knows in the world except Prophet Muhammad. Hadith of Timmidhi says, it says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is he runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu Durat. I'm not making this a hadith. Hadith to the hadith like you first, you know what the hey, Abbas, do you accept this hadith or no? Abbas, do you accept this hadith or not? I want to hear your opinion. <laughs> this is from Sahih Muslim, you idiot. The one you said you agree with him. He do what? He do durat? What durat mean? The brothers and ah, brother and sister, another idiot. Hadith of Timothy says, it says, yeah, when you give the adhan, the shaitan. And guys, imagine the adhan is in the background. So shaitan is farting as he's speaking. Do you hear the adhan in the back? They are playing adhan. Allah, very annoying, you know? So shaitan, as he speak, is farting now. Allah, Akbar. Tell me this shit. It says, yeah, when you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is. Oh, no, please. Why you don't stand up and do it for real? I mean, come on. We have to be practical. I mean, why are you doing this sound? I can, can't, you, can't, you, can't you afford to do some farting for the sake of education? I mean, come on. I'm really upset now. What kind of a teacher you are? Just do it, man. Let them hear it and smell it and feel the education of Islam. So this is what Muslims are spending the most teaching their kids. Brothers and sisters, today our, our, our situation is very difficult. And today we will teach you about the conspiracy using breaking gas against Allah and his messenger. Yes, brother. They use gas. It's not a chemical weapon completely because you will not die because of it, but it just, it's a conspiracy. So brother, the second you say, Allahu Akbar, Shaitan, he take off his pant and he bent over and he point his bum at you and like, and all of this brother, because you don't want to hear the Adan. And I was wondering where the global warming is coming from. Now we know it. We have to block the anus of shaitan. He runs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, 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 Abbas is saying, what's wrong with this hadith? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Who said it's wrong? We are just laughing. And as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Durat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this a hadith. I'm not I'm making this a hadith. Like you first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So you know you go into the toilet. You know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'uzu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet. Look how deep the knowledge of the Prophet Muhammad. You have to enter with the left foot. You enter with the left foot, they pay you. Bingo. You get a reward right away. Don't enter with the right foot. Haram. It's haram. Don't. Just don't.
don't do it. So the second you enter with the left foot, brother, you get reward. I'm not going to worry about paying my bills. I will enter the left foot every day to the bathroom. Actually, I will spend the day just going in and out with the left foot. Hey, CP, where are you going? To the bathroom. you just been there trying to get reward, you idiot. <laughs> Look, Abbas is getting upset. He said, do you want me to quote some stupid verses from the Bible? So he agreed. He agreed. But, you know, by saying that, Abbas, you agreed that your book is stupid. Look what you just said. Do you want me to quote a stupid stupidity in the Bible? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the child inside you is moving. Are you 14 years old or what? <laughs> Shaitan can't see you anymore. This is in a hadith. Right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan uh -huh. not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmiz says he plays with your bowels. True. True. Abbas, he can turn on his camera, put it in his anus, and you will see what's happening there. Because once he forgot to enter with the left foot and recite the prayer before he entered the bathroom. Shaitan, he will go inside your anus. Deep. True. This is scientifically proving to be true how many of you you go to the bathroom you try uh, uh, it's not coming uh, uh, it's not coming why why because shaitan is there what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside but the hadith of tibni says he plays with your bowels he plays with the bowels so you're inside there you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes he's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there <laughs> You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith. <laughs> Anyway, guys, this is endless. I got to go. I want to say thank you again. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you, Abbas, for coming. You are the best entertainment for our kids here. And like the adult and the, and the young ones. Uh, guys, if you want a replicant of Abbas, we are going to make a Christmas uh, a replicant. So you can purchase a gift. He will look like Abbas. We will make it look like Abbas. Actually, I am assuming that Abbas, he looked like this guy in the, in the screen. <laughs> so we'll make a replica and, uh, you know, you will get a gift in the Christmas. So like you, the whole family is happy. Like you have Abbas in the middle and Abbas is talking. We will make him like a, with battery and we will record. Like you, you push the bomb. Each time Abbas, he talked like recording from a live recording. Like when he called me, you push the bomb, Abbas, he says something, you know, <laughs> and then you die laughing. <laughs> If you elect me as the president, I will give Abbas to every citizen. <laughs> In the top of that, as bonus, a half Fifi and 25% Mimi. <laughs> thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, thank you for those who they support us in Patreon. We appreciate your support. And I hope that we are uh, helping Muslims and Christians. We, don't, we will never hate the Muslims. Even like they do crimes, terrorism, etc. But they themselves, they are victims of the faithy Muhammad. He is the real criminal. They are victims. I don't hate Abbas. I will never hate him. I believe this guy is a, is a good person. Regardless what he do, he says stupid things. But who said that a person who says stupid things is not is a bad person? No, this is what is a brain, you know. And we are here to help him and to help people like him. So never hate the guy, you know. Pray for him actually. Pray for his family. We pray for their salvation. We pray for them to be saved. Uh, we pray for them to be safe, even if they stay Muslims. We don't want anyone to be harmed. We pray for Muslims to be stay healthy. And we pray for the whole world, those who agree with Jesus, those who don't agree. Why? Because we want a human being to have his full opportunity to believe willingly or to reject willingly. And then God will come. And those who deserve what they deserve, they will get it. You got what you deserve. It's not the right for anyone to punish you where this is God right. 
the one the one who made you he is the one who created you he is the one who have the right to dismantle you the same as he made you so we pray for all Muslim to be saved we pray for Christians Hindus Buddhas we pray for the whole world to have peace and one of the problems we have today that the hypocrite Western people in government they were defending Islam for the last 40 50 60 even 100 years anyone who speak against Islam they say he's Islamophobic and now they notice that this is stupid it is backfiring on them now so now they start saying in Europe in the heart of Europe who you keep calling us Islamophobic they start saying Islamic terrorism it took them all those victims and all those years so those donkeys in the European government to understand that we are not Islamophobic Islam is dangerous phobia is something you're afraid of but it's not exist so those are stupid government in Europe and I don't want to say stupid government alone because I was wondering who is the stupid who elected them so let's say stupid European in general but for sure not all European are stupid but a stupid European in general they promoted the idea that anyone attack Islam we are going to go against him so he's white right wing he's racist he's a KKK he is a, you know he is a phobia all the titles you can imagine they demonize anyone speak against Islam and now they notice that they've been a fool stupid idiots and now they don't know what to do with this religion and this is why I say you will pay for your stupidity European now they are paying for their stupidity and they deserve what happened to them I'm not saying that because I'm happy for what happened to them I'm saying that this is what happened you deserve what would happen to you you promote it you defend it you bring it even you give them money even you welcome them even you open your borders and then now you are wondering how big as a donkey you were and you are trying to be a horse again so I want to say thank you all again may the Lord bless you and we hope that European people will understand better and they will be able to fight this cult you know you don't want to fight terrorism you don't fight it by arresting a terrorist alone but by fighting Islam Islam is a terrorist cult until now they don't want to acknowledge that the problem is Islam it's not the terrorist how the terrorist became a terrorist he read the Quran not the Bible they are fighting the person not the manual of terrorism which means still they are going in their fantasy and their stupidity the problem is not the terrorists because you kill one tomorrow there's ten there's a book here there's a there's a vendor of ideas ideas terrorism is an idea fight the idea before you fight the person and that's what we do here thank you God bless you and see you soon again God is willing take care and by the way if you don't come tomorrow don't miss me because I might be I went in the bathroom with the right foot and shaitan is doing something and I cannot get out true story bye bye